know, I've heard some people complain about... Uh, I've seen some reviews of this game where people complain about the soundtrack being kind of, like, misguided, but I like it. Hey everyone, this is CT, another installment- ooh, a titanium. Another installment of Let's Play Aphelion Episode 1 Graves of Earth has just arrived. Previously, I believe we started out this game and we're running kind of slowly and awkwardly. If only, you know, we had another character. Boo! Ow! They're draining my shield! The thing, though, is I have Siphon Slash at a very low level. And Siphon Slash, I swear to God, is the most broken attack in this entire game. Wait, no. Skill. Soaring Slash. Energy Crystal. Nice. That restores my energy, which means more abilities. Uh, 350 credits, a med pack, and a repair pack. Nice. Med pack obviously restores your health. Repair pack restore your shields. Uh, here we go. Ooh, a ceremonial blade. Let's check this out. That's some nice stuff. We can also... There's some equipment that you'll see. Like, this one doesn't have any. But this one has, uh, like, an upgrade thingy that we can assign to it. We can freely pick between... Uh, between any of these. It doesn't cost anything to switch between them. We can switch between them anytime we like. So we can increase our armor and health, or I'm actually going to opt to increase my energy. Because it's not going to be a big increase to armor and health, but that increase to energy is going to be very significant, especially because it's going to increase our regen. Which means more... we get to use more abilities. And as I've stated many, many times, Siphon Slash is completely broken. I barely even use Onslaught, because honestly, I find Siphon Slash to be much stronger. And I think it costs less, too. Okay, I'm kind of confused here. Uh, where do I go? This way? Where do I go? Wait a minute, I should just look at the map. I keep forgetting that it's there. Let's just do that, because I have energy to burn. Oh, I can go up here. No! Well, that's bad. Okay, screw it. We're just going to fight. Ah, my shields can take it a little bit longer. Oh, cool. Can I, can I actually one-shot them now? Is that a be awesome? Really? Well, not going that way. Can I? Oh yes, thank god I can one-shot these guys. That's gonna save me from so much damage. Level up! Wait, energy crystal is... Oh, it's a crafting thing. Let's... We already put a point into Soaring Slash. I don't really want to get on Slime. Drain Wave just hits a bunch of enemies. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a point into there. So I get more energy and energy regen. Because that'll be nice over time. Curate and Earth seem valuable ore to pay off projects. Wait, where am I? Okay, there I am. I can't... Wait, is there something over... Oh, oh, I can grab that! I didn't know I could grab that! Huh. Huh. 
I'm gonna thunk it. Uh, I cannot grab that one over there, because that's way too far away. Boop! See, look at how well that regen is doing for me. I'm just regening all my stuff back. So as long as I have a repair pack or two, I can just repair my shield. Ashley, the power in this building is down and I can't get through. Think you can help me out? The power on this whole block is down! I'm stuck in the building right next to you. We're both gonna scavenge something. Any ideas? Sorry, Savs. Savs. Savs! I believe Ashley is the childhood friend here. Boop! Those spiders don't do anything. They're like at least as little spiderlings. I mean, just one on its own is is not that dangerous, but when they all add up, that adds up to some good damage. Um, can I... Is, no, that's right, that door's locked. Can I get another party member? That'd be cool. I think I found something. What did we find? Energy signature coming from a container in this room. Oh. Okay, so yeah, crafting. Is that my phone? This is Private Savion Mercarte of the Rake Peacekeeping Force. We're on our way. Endelin managed to escape to a banquet hall. Yeah, cool. Damn it! No, it's all good. I'm just regenerating my energy. It will be worth it in the long run to get shield regen, though. Uh, wait. There we go. Blue crystal. I cannot make this weapon yet. That'll be real. This will be really nice. That rifle will be nice. Uh, completed crystal. Yes, craft. All right. Is there anything down this way? Oh, yes, there is. Don't miss this. It's a Ceratus Guard. We already have one of these. Yeah, we want all the energy we can get. Boop! His sword reminds me of the, of the kind of weapon, uh... Fate Line God or Edge Maverick would use. Which, by the way, Edge, Ma Edge Maverick just sounds like an extremely generic name. Maybe that's why, you know, Star Ocean 4 was the worst of the bunch. Nims the overpopulation of Earth. Okay, so it looks like there was overpopulation on Earth, so Irate was kind of used to relieve that. Oh, hey, Ashley. What are you doing over there? Boss fight? What are those... What's with that random guy that just keeps flying around? Yeah, see, that's a mod thingy that you can do for weapons. Okay, so they didn't really uh, say it, but yeah, Ashley's in your thing now. So we can either increase energy or increase deflectors and shield. I'm going to opt for energy. Uh, I don't have enough metallic chambers, so I can't make that yet. So let's go ahead and look at Ashley's ability chart. She's got one point in repair. We definitely want to get upgrade. Um, yeah, because upgrade's really nice. Overshield's also kind of nice. Area shot is sort of 
good. Revive uh, brings back a dead ally. Um, I may actually get that. Honestly, I don't think this is that great. I mean, it might be good in the long run, but it's not really that much of a decrease, so I wouldn't focus on it. So yeah, um, definitely do that. So that way, if we look at our skills, revive costs a lot. You see, restore them. You can restore shields now. Uh, upgrade increases our offensive stats. There's also um, an ability, overshield, which drastically increases your shields for a few turns. The problem with it is that you, and this is something that I mentioned earlier, is that you really don't know when it's in effect and when it stops taking effect. Cool, let's take that. We're gonna give her that because she need she could use a lot more energy. And actually, you know what? No, that increases health. I want shields. Now we have two party members! Oh my god, Ashley is so squishy. Oh, she is so... got so little health. But it doesn't matter because she just shoots things. Regal Protectorate. Yeah. I like that. We don't want to give her the Serodus guard because that's going to lower her shields, and that's pretty much all she has is shields. So as you can see, she has no health whatsoever. Boop! Oh my god, I get two turns in. I'm so fast. Oh my god. This is a new thing. You see how it says two there? That means I'm going to get two turns. Yeah. Ashley leveled up and we got a metallic chamber. Now we just need another one. Um... You know... I want to get that just to have some shield regen. Just going to get one point in it and then just leave it there. Ooh, ooh, I forgot that data disk. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show off a burst attack. See how awesome that is? That's why you usually save it for boss fights. I'm gonna go ahead and put and point into uh, haste because haste is actually pretty good. Ceremonial armor—they're just throwing armor at us. This is gonna give me more strength and armor. Yes, please. A treasure oh damn it I forgot to get I gotta go back and grab the thing see look at how fast I am they don't e they can't even hit me Eratium. hey gotta run back and grab that data disk Now, I believe me, it is the fights might seem monotonous, but the boss fights in this game, especially there's an optional boss fight 
And it is hard. I mean, I beat it, but it took me probably half an hour to beat it. Just because it is that... Just that hard. Um... I'm going to get Overshield, because Overshield is going to be very nice for when we get into boss fights. So we picked up that. Aww. A button! Boop! See, they can't even attack. I just get two free attacks on them. And I believe that gives me... I regen some health and energy, because, you know, me reaching my turn. I gotta go all the way up around here because debris in my way. Do 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 do. No. Ah, what? I thought I'd removed my ex, but apparently not! Yeah, you guys... No. Never mind. Just... 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 Pay that no mind. Don't... Don't mind that whatsoever. Hi! Look at all that damage that it didn't do. Chloe was the first talent. That's our next party member, by the way. Rita, I think her name is. Do I smell a save point? You guys smell that? I'm sorry, Sean. Because screw this guy! See how broken that is? Level up! Alright, overshield. So we're gonna take a look at what this does. Yeah, it not only restores your shields, but it also increases your maximum shield, which is really. Oh, titanium! That's what I need! Wait, isn't it? Oh no, Damascus! That's what I need. Ah! Hey, this guy! Not bagging in there by yourselves. Kiddo, a little late, though. Fashionably late. I'm gonna find the ambassador. Sergeant Seda, come in. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, so we got five minutes to do this. Yes, crafting is very nice on New Game Plus. And actually, in order to get all the equipment, you have to play through... I think you have to play through quite a few times. Just because of one item, you get it from the optional boss, and you can only fight it once in a playthrough. Oh, I just want to use a regular attack on this, bro. No items found. And data disk? What is this purple thing? What? I, I, I can't even get over there. Save me on you, fat person. Oh crap! Two of these things. Whatever will we do? Oh, that's right. I'm Save on. What? What? Oh my. God, they just chunked. We just got chunked.
Now, as far as I know, uh, what's her face does not have a group shield healing thing. So yeah, you kind of have like two. It's kind of like two health bars. I don't want to go in yet. Screw that. <laughs> yeah, because there's a save point. We're not going in yet. We're going to do one last fight. You can go ahead and blow everything in this fight. Because we're full on... Because we're about to heal up. Arbiter robes. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's definitely for her. Nice, more agility. Now, since she uses ranged weapons, uh, melee weapon damage is based on strength, and ranged weapon and ranged weapon damage is based on agility. How many save st slots do I get? Oh my god, how many do they give us? Twenty? Oh my god! I like to alternate save save slots. Okay, so on the next installment, let's play Aphelion Episode 1, Graves of Earth. We're going to go and, uh, you know, do things. We're going to go to that banquet hall. So it's been GT. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.